Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, whether you're watching at Facebook, Insta or YouTube, I'm on all three. So today we're looking at how do I make sense of my partner getting triggered by one of my children and what can I do with that to hold a good space? So it's twofold. As I always say, the family web is a very important thing for us to get our heads around, which is not being spoken out in the wide world a lot as far as the intricacies between each member of the family and what's going on. So it's really important to understand our new child type. You can take the quiz. Um, I've got a quiz to start to glean an idea of what is your new child type versus your partners and your children's to start to see who has more star um, energy activated, who has more earth, who has more heart energy activated. So I'm going to use an example today around, because there's quite a lot of it, um, that the, your partner may not have as much star energy activated. They might have had it when they were born, but they've had it shut down. So that can be around using imagination, any intuition, believing in the higher realms, um, going forth as you are and not feeling like you have to fit in. So that's a lot of our children that are coming through, whether they are a cosmic star that hold lots of star energy or even a heart star or even an earth star. The fact is, if our child has star energy there, it can be triggering for our partner because they say, whoa, this is a bit hard for me to deal with right now. My child's going out, you know, um, you know, say a boy dressed up in all this crazy stuff and wants to go out. They're like, that's not what's socially done. You're making me feel uncomfortable. Or it could be, hey, they're starting to show their intuitive sign and me, the mum, is holding space for that. I don't feel so comfortable with that because I'm not really up for, you know, the intuitive side coming into our house, the spiritual side even. Um, and so, you know, it can go forth in lots of different ways in whatever the star energy is around that. But there can be something that triggers your partner because of what your child is bringing forth. So the two ways is to start to look at firstly yourself, because that's the most important thing. You are the creator here in your reality. How are you going within? So if you get really triggered yourself with this going on, it's important to look at that to start to work through your own stuff first before you start to go and point out fingers on how everyone else should be. So that might be, oh, wow, I feel really sad because I can see this relationship isn't turning out how I'd like it in my reality with um, my partner and my, my child, whether you're with the partner or not. Um, it can also be, I feel really triggered that you're not able to love my child unconditionally. Um, it can bring up frustration, anger, you know, all sorts of different things. And so that's for you to tune into and that's for you to release. Because when you do, then you can hold a better space for them then you can start to accept in the spiritual side of things that we've all signed up for a path and it's not a perfect path. And so I can't say that enough. It's not a perfect path between us and our own children. There's going to be glitches and things that we don't agree on because we're on different paths in certain different ways, but also for your partner and your children. So then you start to go, okay, if I jump in in between them, I'm interfering with their path and what they've signed up for. There is a part where you can say, hey, I'm going to hold space here and I'm going to try and point some things out. But the main bit is if you come from it in anything but love, cool, neutral energy, you are bringing your monkey mind into the piece and that's when it can really start to blow up. And I know because I've done it many times in this household to figure this all out. And the only way you can come back to that true heart, neutrality, compassion for what you know what your partner's going through and what your child's going through um, and not feeling that need to jump in which is our ego our monkey mind is to truly release everything that you've got going on around this situation so you work it from your angle first then you can start to go out and then you can start to see okay this is interesting I can see what's going on here I could start to talk about it and I should because it, the more you can see you speak up your truth, um, that you hold that space for your child to say, no, they're going forth with their intuitive side or no, they are just being themselves and they're not feeling the need to change because someone says you're making me feel uncomfortable. But also to be able to see it from your partner's side, say, yep, I totally get it. Even at the start, it was triggering for me, but I've actually worked through that now. And sometimes we forget as the women, we work through stuff but then it's like, oh, yeah, we're not giving our partner this time and the space for them to work through that too. And the vision that it's possible for them. 
So that's the trust that you need to sit in to say, hey, I trust that you're going to work through this and I envision you guys having a great relationship. That is the most important thing that you can do in your reality is everything that you're thinking and believing is coming true. So if you're thinking, hey, there's chaos going on here and this is freaking me out and then you react in fear, you're going to keep creating that and staying on the merry-go-round of that. But if you're like, hey, no, I can see this has got to be worked through, but then there's going to be smoothness after that. I give you guys the time and the space to do that. And I trust my child can actually do that too, because they said they would come in to poke some buttons um, and really poke some buttons and cop some crap from the people that they are prodding um, to allow them to wake up. And sometimes it comes to a bit of a head before the other person has their realisation. But until they do, they're not sold and they're not going to be in that true empowered state by doing it because you've told them to. So that's a huge one to work through. Um, so that's a little taste. Obviously, it can be with the heart energy completely. It can be with the earth energy as well. I was just giving the star energy because there's a lot of that around with our very starry children coming through. Us as the mums are staying open to it and seeing it and holding that space. But then the dad's like, whoa, I'm not sure about this. So it is really a heart opening thing for us as the mums to hold the heart space for our partners, not to go against them and point fingers and not good enough, um, which I have also played out. So, you, you know, again, it's not a perfect path, but the more you go around, the merry-go-round with it, the more you start to see where you can jump off yourself um, and be that light to go, no, okay, I'm going to opt out here because it is still me in fear or, you know, yeah, you guys in fear as well. So that's just a taste of the family web stuff. It's really important for us to understand it because then we can really start to see why our children are behaving like they are. And then we can also be the person to hold that space for their gifts to say, no, 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 do not change. Just because dad's saying, no, you need to be like this. You need to change. It's not good enough. You can be the one saying, no, 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 no. We're going to keep this there because that is where their gift is. As long as it's in the light, when the star energy, for example, goes into the darker side, like I'm wafty and I can't get myself through the day. Yes. Okay. That's where things can get triggering as well. And that's again, a sign to go, okay, where is that within me or where is that within my partner? And how could we embody that in a better way to bring our star energy back into the light as well? Same with the heart and the earth energy. So it's all a big learning, but the main bit is that you're empowering yourself and your family to do it within the family unit without needing to go out and find experts, therapists, practitioners, professionals who are going to try and tell you what to do because they don't know the family web and they do not know who's bringing the gifts in this family and who's bringing the blind spots, um, what I call it, so that you can truly work that. Um, so that's a little taste. I am doing some sessions over Christmas. If you're listening to this right now into 2020, um, please do sign up if you'd like some because then we can work it in your scenario and basically um, tease all the knots in the rope apart so that you can go, okay, yeah, I get it. I can see what my part is in it and I can see what's going on for them. So I feel cooler, which makes you react in a different way as well. Um, but otherwise, I'll chat to you all soon. Bye.